the Danny Phantom series recap from the YouTube channel, Cartoon Mania. Grab some snacks, hit the like button, and let's get started. <laughs> going to cover the series Danny Phantom from beginning to end in detail. We will also address questions like how Danny became a half ghost, how Vlad got his powers, and what happened when Danny's parents found out about his half ghost nature. So without further ado, let's dive right in. He's a phantom. The world of Danny Phantom kicks off 20 years ago with three buddies, Jack, Maddie, and Vlad working on a cool invention called the Ghost Portal. This device is like a doorway connecting Earth and Ghost Zone, a ghostly realm. But here's where things get interesting. During a test run, Jack accidentally spills Diet Cola into the machine. The portal goes haywire and boom. Vlad gets hit with a blast that gives him ecto acne and turns his hair white. It's a total disaster that ruins his social life and lands him in the hospital for years. Just an idiot, but you shouldn't stand so close to an active portal. By the way, where's your safety goggles? After that incident, Jack and Maddie don't cross paths with Lad for a whole two decades. Now, you would think that this was very unethical for the two to not ever see their best friend, but the most likely case here is that the doctors kept Lad in isolation for more than two years because they had never seen such an infection before. If you haven't caught on yet, these three were actually ghost enthusiasts, hence their ghost portal experiment. But after the mishap with Lad, they sort of lost hope and abandoned the whole project. Life moved on, and Jack and Maddie ended up marrying and having two kids, Daniel and Jasmine. Together, they live in the town called Amit Park and go through crazy encounters that always involve some kind of a ghost. So, being hospitalized for two years, Vlad makes a return to the world. You see, what I didn't tell you is that he had a crush on Maddie, and he sorta of became spiteful after the incident. A former best friend turns into a revenge plotting villain is exactly the kind of villain the show needed. Vlad started his own industry called the Vlad Co., which specialized in making ghostly gadgets. He became a billionaire and even had the opportunity to become the mayor of Amity Park. But here's the twist. Vlad isn't your average guy. He was actually the first human to become half ghost, gaining some seriously cool powers along the way. Vlad was the original Morpheus. Instead of staying in touch with Maddie and using his ghostly abilities to win her over, he let his arrogance and self-pity get the best of him. This not only messed up his social life, but also his own spirit. Vlad thought that the accident ruined his chances with Maddie, but he was wrong. In reality, he only managed to temporarily win her over through deception. Fast forward 20 years from the incident, things take a wild turn. In a twist of fate, their son Daniel, the main character of the show, stumbles upon the unfinished portal and accidentally activates it. His DNA gets all mixed up with ectoplasm, turning him into a half-ghost with some seriously cool ghostly powers. And this is how Daniel became Danny Phantom. You're also forgetting the fact that Danny was encouraged by Sam to explore the portal, so if she never encouraged him, he probably would have never been in that situation. Now, when Vlad found out about Danny's powers, he wanted to sort of adopt him and make him the successor of his wealth, but Danny wanted none of that. His pursuit of having a perfect half-ghost son became such an obsession that he started making clones of Danny. However, all of the clones were mindless and eventually dissolved into ectoplasm. But there was one clone who had senses and survived the whole procedure. She is the female counterpart of Daniel called Danielle. I'm Danielle. Vlad may have treated Danny as his own daughter, but it was all part of his ulterior motives. He used her as a means to an end, pretending to show love and affection while having a hidden agenda. Danny remained loyal to her father and was willing to do whatever it took to please him. In the episode Kindred Spirits, Vlad sent Danny and other clones to capture Danny and obtain the final DNA samples he needed for his perfect clone. Danny, in her human form, sneaked into Danny's room and pretended to be his cousin. She's kind of like S23 a little bit. You know, Wolverine's daughter, who's actually his clone. Despite Danny's initial suspicion and Danny's subservience to Vlad, they quickly formed a bond because they had more in common than just ghostly powers. However, the truth came to light when Danny discovered that Vlad's true plan was to create a perfect clone of Danny and not her. This meant that both Danny and Danny would be disposed of once Vlad's cloning process was complete. It was a shocking revelation for Danny, realizing that she was merely a pawn in Vlad's grand scheme. She then joined Danny and the rest to oppose her father's agenda. However, soon after, her powers started to destabilize and she began melting like her brother clones. She returned to Amity Park to seek Danny's help, only to be caught by one of Vlad's hunters named Valerie. Now, Valerie only wanted to hunt ghosts, but since Danny was half-human, she let her go and even helped Danny to restabilize her condition. 
Later, it was confirmed by director Butch Hartman that Maddie and Jack learned that Danny was a clone from the DNA of their son, meaning that she is in a way genetically related to them. They then adopted her into the family and gave her the love she always wanted. This was supposed to happen in season 4, but the series ended before that. But hey, at least we know she got the happy ending. Yeah, that's good. I wish they made a season 4. Now, let's talk about Danny, the main character of the show. Danny is just your regular high school kid dealing with all the usual teenage stuff like crushes, popularity, and embarrassing parents. But here's the kicker, he also has super cool ghost powers. At first, he is freaked out and wants to keep it a secret, worried about becoming a social outcast. But after his first ghost fight, he embraces his powers and becomes a fearless hero. He's better than me. If I had ghost powers, I'd be evil. In his ghost form, Danny becomes invisible, has the power to fly, and can even phase through walls and objects. Additionally, he has ecto energy powers such as Ghost Ray, Repulsion Field, and Energy Strike. He can even possess the mind and body of any living or non living beings at will. His arsenal is so huge that you're gonna have to watch the entire show to explore his powers. Danny's relationship with his parents is a roller coaster ride. They're all about ghost hunting, which can be a bit intense for Danny. He used to be closer to his mom when he was younger, but things changed as he grew up. Sometimes, he doesn't feel safe around them because they've talked about tearing Danny apart molecule by molecule. That's only because they have no idea that Danny is their son Daniel. And you know what? When they actually find out that he is Danny Phantom, they don't freak out. In fact, they accept him for who he is. It's a complicated mix of love, conflict, and understanding. Families can be messy, but they've got each other's backs when it really counts. When he's not busy ghost hunting, Danny is a chill and friendly dude. He uses his powers for good. Well, most of the time. But let's be real, sometimes he uses them for revenge or to get out of trouble at school. Danny's got a good sense of humor too. He loves cracking jokes and exchanging witty banter during his ghost fights. The cracking jokes while fighting thing might be a reference to Spider-Man. If I can remember correctly, Peter likes to crack jokes to deal with stressful situations. And while he may not always show it, he values his friends and appreciates their support. But it's not all fun and games for Danny. He's had some tough moments where he blamed himself for not protecting his loved ones or feeling like he let someone down. He takes those moments seriously and tries to learn from them. In the end, Danny is just your average teenager trying to navigate high school, save the world from ghosts, and maybe even catch a break once in a while. With his ghost powers and a bunch of cool friends, he's ready to take on whatever comes his way. Sam Manson is one of Danny's childhood best friends, and is one of the very few people who knew about his ghost form from the very start. Sam is no stranger to adventure. She's been through it all. From experiencing temporary ghostly powers to finding herself on the brink of marrying Prince Aragon, she has her fair share of troubles. While Sam may embrace the goth image, her personality breaks the mod of your typical goth girl. She's got her own unique quirks and characteristics that make her stand out from the crowd. She can be kind-hearted and caring, but can also switch to being bossy and passionate when needed. Despite having an extremely wealthy family, she keeps it a secret, mostly because she wants people to befriend her without feeling inferior. I forgot she's one of those rich guy kids. Despite being rational most of the time, she has her moments of irrationality. For example, this one time, she forces her vegetarian diet on the entirety of Casper High School. Another time, she spies on Danny, but gets mad at him when he spies on her later. You used your ghost powers to spy on me? Sam was so unlikable. Normally, she advises Danny to not use his powers for personal use, but would sometimes ask him to use them for her own cause. Sam can be quite stubborn when it comes to taking responsibility for her actions, and she has a tendency to shift the blame onto others instead of owning up to her mistake. I mean, she's a woman. However, despite this flaw, she often steps up and takes the blame to protect Danny from facing the consequences of his own mishaps. In addition, Sam has always been a strong supporter of Danny's ghost side even when Danny himself wanted to get rid of his powers. In the episode Phantom Planet, Danny makes the decision to voluntarily give up his powers, which deeply upsets Sam. She reveals that she always felt safe in Amity Park because she knew that Danny was there to protect it. This shows just how much she accepts and values Danny for who he is. Yeah, but Danny also put himself and the people around him in a lot of danger because of his ghost powers, so is she kind of being selfish for being mad at him for wanting to have a normal life? This also shows that she always saw Danny as more than just a friend. Throughout the show, she started developing feelings for him, but always held back because Danny was into this girl called Paulina. Sam often displayed annoyance and irritation whenever Danny's romantic interests were involved. She would get upset when Danny prioritized spending time with other girls, like with Paulina in Lucky in Love, or when he briefly dated Valerie in Flirting with Disaster. Valerie was the best choice. 
Sam's reaction stemmed from her feelings of jealousy and a sense of being left out. She valued her close friendship with Danny and felt hurt when she perceived that he was neglecting their bond for someone else. However, in the episode Phantom Planet, the two confess their feelings for each other and officially start dating after Danny gets over Paulina. This is the perfect happy ending these two deserved. Danny's other best friend, Tucker Foley, is a tech-savvy nerd who never leaves home without his trusty laptop. He is in on Danny's secret and plays a crucial role in their ghost-busting adventures. With his knowledge of technology, Tucker aids Danny in battling ghosts and sending them back to the ghost zone. He is the go-to guy for all the things gadget-related, always coming up with clever inventions and using his tech expertise to give Danny the upper hand. Tucker's skills and resourcefulness make him an invaluable member of the team, proving that brains and technology can be just as powerful as ghostly superpowers. However, he is still a little jealous of Danny's ghost powers. Tucker's envy of Danny's ghost powers reached its peak in the episode What You Want when he wished for powers of his own, unknowingly gaining them through the genie ghost, Desiree. Tucker may seem like a fun and tech-savvy friend, but when power comes his way, things get complicated. He has a tendency to let power go to his head, turning power-hungry and volatile. He's just like me. There was even a moment when he was willing to harm Danny for his own gain. Tucker's newfound abilities quickly corrupted him, turning him into an evil version of himself. It was up to Danny to confront his friend and put an end to the chaos. Tucker was eventually restored back to his normal self, learning an important lesson about the dangers of unchecked power. Despite all of that, Tucker is a true friend who always has Danny's back no matter what. He has also shown some knack for leadership. In the episode Phantom Planet, Tucker rocked it as the youngest mayor of Amity Park. Wow, from high school to running the whole town. Tucker's journey wasn't all smooth sailing though. In the episode King Tuck, he tried his luck running for school president, but Dash Baxter gave him a run for his money. Unfortunately, Tucker didn't snag the victory, but that didn't stop him from aiming for the stars. Jazz, also known as Jasmine, is Danny's older sister, who initially views her parents' obsession with ghosts as silly. She sees herself as the sensible and level-headed member of the family and takes on a parental role with Danny. While she can be overprotective and self-righteous at times, Jazz starts to change her perspective when she sees Danny's ghostly transformation. She tries to question Danny's friends about a secret, but quickly realizes they won't betray him. Danny has no clue that Jazz now continuously covers for him when he's out fighting ghosts. After some time, Danny learns that she has known his secret for quite some time. She explains that she was waiting for the right moment when she felt he was ready to share it with her. In a heartwarming scene, the siblings share a tender embrace, finally able to reconnect on a deeper level and strengthen their bond. Initially, she had no interest in ghost hunters. But later on, she frequently joins Danny on his ghostly adventures, eager to be part of the action. However, her lack of experience in dealing with ghosts often proves to be a liability rather than an asset. Despite her best intentions, Jazz often finds herself in precarious situations that require Danny to come to her rescue. Danny expresses his gratitude to Jazz by officially making her a member of Team Phantom. Although initially inexperienced, Jazz grows into her role over time. Later on, she joins forces with her mother and Sam to face off against formidable foes like Spectra, Ember, and Kitty. In the finale of the TV series, Jazz, believing that Danny had perished in a crash, decides to reveal the truth about his ghost powers to their parents. However, to her surprise, Danny reappears unharmed. Jazz then explains to him that she had already told their parents about a secret, who despite being ghost hunters, accept them wholeheartedly. Jazz is an underrated character. And now, let's talk about something very interesting. I mean, every show has to have a dark counterpart of the main character, right? Well, we have Dark Danny to fill in those shoes perfectly. Dark Danny, or Dan Phantom, is one wicked dude. He's an evil version of Danny Phantom from a twisted future timeline. In the episode The Ultimate Enemy, he takes on the role of the main antagonist, and let me tell you, he's as bad as they come. Dark Danny is incredibly powerful, and he's got zero remorse for his wicked deeds. He is Danny's most vile and evil enemy, making life a living nightmare for our ghost the hero. Dark Danny's origin story is definitely a dark one. It all started when Danny, in a stroke of misfortune, got hold of the answers to the career aptitude test and used them to pass the exam. Little did he know, this would set in motion a chain of events that would lead to his transformation into Dark Danny. Mr. Lancer, the school principal, thought something fishy was going on with Danny's sudden success, so he decided to have a chat with Danny's parents at Nasty Burgers. But guess what? A crazy explosion happened out of nowhere, and Danny ended up losing his friends and family in the tragic incident. With nowhere else to go, Danny had to make a tough call. 
he moved in with none other than his arch nemesis, Vlad Masters. I know, sounds crazy, right? But Danny felt like Vlad was the only one who could understand what he was going through. Despite their rocky history, Vlad surprisingly sympathized with Danny. Filled with grief and self-blame, Danny asked Vlad to separate his human and ghost halves. He believed that by removing his ghost powers and emotions, he could escape the pain and guilt of losing his family and friends. Vlad used the ghost gauntlets to grant Danny's request, splitting him into two separate beings. After separating from his human half, Danny Phantom became filled with anger and negativity. He took the ghost gauntlets from Vlad, but things went awry. Instead of overshadowing Vlad, he merged with him, resulting in the creation of Dark Danny, the most powerful and evil ghost ever. Dark Danny wasted no time, killing his human self and destroying Vlad's mansion, leaving Vlad alive to tell the tale of his wicked transformation. I forgot how dark this series got. Over the next 10 years, Dark Danny went on a rampage, causing havoc and chaos everywhere. He wreaked havoc in Amity Park and wiped out a tons of ghosts, leaving a trail of destruction in his path. It was a dark and tumultuous time for both Earth and the ghost zone. Now, there is a ghost called Clockwork, who is basically the master of time. He has the knowledge of all possible futures that may or may not occur. He sends ghosts to manipulate events, leading young Danny to confront his older, darker self in the future. They battle it out, but Dan emerges victorious, trapping Danny in the future. Dan travels to the past disguised as Danny with the intention of eliminating the Fentons, Sam, Tucker, and Lancer to ensure his own survival. However, Danny returns just in time, and after the epic showdown with Dark Danny, Danny successfully traps his evil future self in the Fenton Thermos. Although he couldn't save his friends and family from the nasty burger explosion, Clockwork, the Time Master, steps in to save the day. He freezes time, rescues Danny's loved ones, and reveals that he had foreseen these events. Clockwork offers Danny a fresh start, taking Dark Danny and the Thermos to a secret lair. Meanwhile, Danny is sent back to the pivotal moment before everything went downhill. Now armed with a second chance, Danny has the power to reshape his life and prevent the catastrophic future he once witnessed. In the same episode, Danny learns that his sister, Jazz, was always aware of his phantom side and she will always protect him no matter what. In the ultimate episode of the season 3, in the series finale, Phantom Planet, viewers are treated to a satisfying conclusion that wraps up the whole show. Vlad puts together his own team of ghost hunters called the Masters Blasters, who are really good at catching ghosts. It really gets on Danny's nerves because they seem to be better than him. One day, they show up at Danny's house because they sense ghostly activity, not realizing that Danny himself is part ghost. They end up mistakenly arresting Danny's parents, thinking they're hiding a ghost fugitive. Feeling pretty guilty about his parents getting arrested, Danny decides it's time to give up his ghost powers. He figures if the ghost portal gave him those powers, maybe it can take them away too. Despite his friend's objections, he goes ahead and activates the portal, and guess what? It actually works. His ghost abilities are zapped away, and now he's just a regular human again. But there's a cool twist. The whole ghost thing left him with a slick white streak in his hair, like a constant reminder of his ghostly past. And by the way, the portal gets totally wrecked in the process, so there is no turning back for Danny. He's now just plain old Daniel Fenton. Jazz is then able to bail their parents out of trouble because the ghost hunting master's blasters can't find any ghostly activity in the Fenton residence anymore. Sometime later, scientists make a chilling discovery. An enormous asteroid heading straight to Earth ready to wipe out the whole planet. They come up with a plan to save the day, send two rockets to drill into the asteroids and blow it up from the inside. And guess who gets assigned to this crucial mission? Jack and Masters Blasters. But here's a twist. Danny figures out that Vlad is up to his old tricks. That sneaky guy purposely fed Jack the wrong coordinates all to make Danny look bad. And get this, the asteroid itself? Yep, it's Vlad's doing too. In a dramatic press conference, Vlad unveils his grand scheme to save the Earth. He transforms into his ghost form in front of the world and declares that he alone possesses the power to make the asteroid intangible, sparing our planet from destruction. But of course, there's a catch. In exchange for his heroic act, Vlad wants to rule over the world. And a whopping $500 billion. As Vlad and Jack make their way to the asteroid, things get really awkward. Vlad spills the beans about holding a grudge against Jack ever since he got blasted in the face with that portal. Jack tries to reason with him, saying it was just a dumb accident, but Vlad ain't having it. He's dead set on stealing Maddie from Jack and making her his queen. Anyway, Vlad leaves the ship to make the asteroid intangible, so it phases through the Earth without any damage. But as it turns out, the whole rock is made of ectoranium, a substance that is very harmful to ghosts. 
For ghosts, it's what kryptonite is for Superman. He pleads with Jack for help, but Jack, finally seeing Vlad's true colors, decides enough is enough. He leaves him stranded in space, realizing that the person he once considered a friend is nothing but pure evil. It's a moment of clarity for Jack, and he takes a stand against Vlad's manipulation and betrayal. Anyways, the asteroid problem is still not solved, so back on Earth, Danny and the gang decide to seek help from hundreds of ghosts he has fought during the show to make the whole Earth intangible. They use this map to locate a natural ghost portal, and Danny steps in, only to get his butt kicked by the enemies he made. However, this ass-whooping reignites Danny's ghostly powers, so he returns some favors and comes back to the human world. In the epic finale, Danny rallies all the ghosts to his side and saves the day, averting the catastrophe. Jazz, thinking Danny had perished, tells their parents that their heroic savior was none other than their son, Daniel. With the crisis resolved, the ghosts retreat to the ghost zone, and Danny returns to his friends. With a newfound sense of freedom, Danny embraces his identity as both Danny Fenton and Danny Phantom, revealing his secret to the world. It's a moment of acceptance and unity as Danny's dual nature is finally embraced by all. As the world goes with wild joy over Danny Phantom's heroic feat, they erect statues of him all over Amity Park and even in the capital cities worldwide. As I mentioned earlier, Tucker somehow became the new mayor of Amity Park. Jack and Maddie, on the other hand, are scratching their heads, wondering how in the world Danny managed to keep his ghostly alter ego a secret for so long. Meanwhile, out in space, Vlad embraces his fate as a space nomad and accepts his solitary existence. That is, until the disasteroid comes crashing him down. In the final scene, Danny ditches his own ceremony and sneaks away to be alone with Sam. Finally, they have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about their true feelings for each other, and Danny returns the West Ring to Sam, declaring that he doesn't care about the uncertainties of the future as long as she is by his side. They seal their love with one last passionate kiss before Danny transforms into his ghost form and whisks Sam away for a dreamy and romantic flight through the skies. And with that swoon-worthy moment, the TV series comes to a perfect close, leaving fans with a heart full of happiness and butterflies in their stomachs. Ah, what a series. But what do you think? Was it among your favorites when you were little? Let us know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed it, drop us a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Cartoon Mania for more awesome tunes like this recapped on your feed. With that said, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. I forgot how good of a series Danny Phantom was, but making Tucker the mayor was a little weird. Maybe try to get a position to like Jack or something because you know he wanted to try to stop the asteroid or something. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. I wish Danny Phantom got like an epilogue or a TV special after the series finale, but at least it had an ending, unlike Symbiotic Titan or Thundercats. Let me know what you think of Danny Phantom in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'm Tsunami. Thanks for watching.